Time is a construct. Or at least, that's what we hope to do today. Construct some time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we had to lead. We had to lead with the bad joke. I'm sorry. I had to get it out of the way. <laughs> well, as as garbage as that joke might be, it really is what we're doing today. We're looking to construct ourselves a clock. I want to construct a digital Minecraft clock that's going to keep time of the Minecraft day. So the sun just came up. It's, uh, I don't know, nine, maybe 10, 9.30 possibly, kind of in the Minecraft morning. And I want to construct a clock here with the, with the digital number pad here that basically is going to be able to accurately tell me the time in Minecraft. I think this is going to be a really interesting build. So, obviously, I think the first thing we need to do is try to figure out the the displays, right? Now, I have seen some digital displays before. I've seen them in videos, and I, obviously, I don't know, I don't know how to build one. But I'm thinking we can kind of wire it up, maybe something like this, maybe maybe something like this. I think that should do something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, something, something indeed it did do. That is not exactly the outcome we were looking for. <laughs> actually, actually, that made the problem much worse. <laughs> Hold on, what's happening here? And after some light confusion. Okay, so I think this idea should work out fine. Yeah, okay, everything's lit. Everything's lit. That's good. That's a good step one. Everything's lit. Now it's going to make sure uh, how we're going to make this light up in separate functions so I think the first thing we want to do is try to get this to go from a zero to a to an eight see if we can get that middle light to go away and the obvious way to do that I think is just make that one empty okay yeah so and then so one would be just these two filled right what is going on here wait what why are you still powered what are you reading power from there's nothing there it's updated updated yeah nothing's there now okay that's super strange so I think we can solve the problem we're having down here with this thing not updating by just simply going ahead and putting in the feed tape because I know we're going to need one for this for this d design to function properly. So I'm hoping that just, you know, the simple fact of the feed tape functioning and moving stuff will solve the problem of this guy not updating properly. So this is not necessarily going to go anywhere. Nothing else to set up and obviously this is just empty blocks here right now, but I just want to make sure that this does indeed update it. And it does not. But if I put another block there, does that? No, it's still powered. What are you doing? I don't understand you at all. I'm wondering if it might be a pulse link thing. I'm hoping if I put this in. Yeah, that did it. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna need this anyway for the feed tape to function properly so that's beautiful that's beautiful that's working now now that that's sorted i think i'm gonna go ahead and just throw in the feed tape and it's done it's ready it functions look at that zero one two three and all the way up to nine and back to zero it's amazing it's beautiful my redstone was very close by the way i did end up having to look up a tutorial I don't want to pretend like this is mine. I did look up a tutorial. You guys can see in the top right corner an iCard here to a link to the tutorial that I did watch. It's very smart. I'm very impressed. And it's incredibly small. Like the redstone for what it's doing, it's incredibly compact. So this is going to work out beautifully. Now I just got to replicate it to these other slots. I uh, have I don't I don't I don't I don't know how to use the copy paste tool i actually i think it's a mod if i'm not mistaken i don't have it and if it's not a mod i don't know how to use it so we're doing this by hand all the bits and pieces have now been inserted except for this guy who was not in the right position so now that all the parts are in place i need to go ahead and put the cauldrons in i had to take the cauldrons out of this one because while i was moving some wiring around i kind of messed it up so i got to go back to the tutorial and figure out what uh exactly the cauldron positions were I just felt like the fact that all the redstone was in place was worth uh, an update. Okay, guys, this is amazing. This this design that I've taken, again, like I said, I, I followed a tutorial, and this design that I've taken is even bigger brain than I thought it was. Look at this. Look at how look. I, 
they've made they've simplified my job this tutorial is so fantastic i don't i i was overcomplicating it i had an idea i knew what i wanted to do but i overcomplicated it so much this comparator right here just feeds literally out from the first section and straight into the second section and because of pulse length because of pulse length the amount of times this goes off and once it gets back around to nine or is yeah zero nine zero what am i talking about it has to go around it has to go all the way around look 16 17 18 is the one i'm worried about nope nope that went fine 18 19 20 it's so <laughs> what the heck this is, this is, this is fabulous. This is absolutely amazing. So now all I need to worry about is the timing systems for this to trigger and then a separate timing system for this to trigger. And then we got to sync them up and we should be good. We should have a functional digital clock in Minecraft. It's, I know, I know this has been, I know this has been done before. This is nothing new, but I'm excited. This is a redstone challenge that I wanted to take on personally. And I'm so happy with how this is coming along. I know I cheated sort of kind of a little bit by copying a design, but I mean, I understand the design. It's just, I'm still learning redstone. I, I mean, I'm, I'm learning as I'm doing these videos. You guys are, you guys are along for the ride as I learn redstone. And I understand these systems. I'm just not proficient enough to have thought of it myself. Almost, almost makes it okay. You know, cause like I'm learning and now I know how these work and it's t making use of some systems that now I can use them in my own redstone builds. Like right here, this little system right here, I would not have thought about. I don't ever think to use cauldrons even just, just that on its own. I don't ever think to use cauldrons in my redstone. So I've learned a lot, even, even though I did copy the design, I've learned a lot, but you know what? This isn't going to work the way that I I'm currently building it. This one's going to work out fine, but this one should stop at six. Cause there's only 60 minutes in an hour. So this one needs to stop at six and then reset to zero. And this one should only go up to two before resetting to zero. And this one just goes from one to zero. Each one of these displays have different requirements. And I've just, I've just spent an hour, almost two hours messing around and copy pasting this design. It's just not going to work. It's just not going to display that way. Oh my goodness. But it's okay. Because I think I have come up with a design that just might maybe possibly fix the problem here. I think instead of having a piston fee tape, we're just going to have at least, at least for this first section, these, these still need redesigning, but at least for this first section, I think I've solved the problem somewhat. Basically, instead of having a fee tape, we're just going to shift these up and down because I only need the numbers one and zero to display here because there's no such thing as, you know, 20 o'clock. Well, there is, I guess, military time, but we're not, we're not doing that. So basically the idea here is when these shift down, they should display the number zero, which it does do correctly. And then when they shift up, supposed to display the number one, except I'm having trouble with this guy right here. As you can see, there's nothing that it's feeding off of. It's just not updating properly. It was solved previously by just having the tick come through here. Like this, the one tick pulse, so they just fire quickly. It was previously updating this appropriately and solving the problem, but it doesn't seem to be doing that right now. And I'm kind of wondering if just simply bringing this out would be okay. Like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's just try it. All right. So go down. That displays a zero. Yes. It shifts up and it updates and that's a one. Okay. That's one section solved. Now the problem I'm running into here is that I'm going to have to make this one really complicated because this section right here is going to have to go from one to nine. And then when it gets back to zero, it should trigger this one, turning it into a one. So then we have 10, 11 and 12, but then this one's going to have to revert back to a one, basically two different cycles. I don't know how I'm going to make that happen. I think the easiest way to make that happen is try to figure out a circuit that will activate on the second rotation that after it triggers twice, it'll just kind of activate maybe a little redstone clock or something that will fire this enough times to get it back to one. But then that would also trigger this one because it would pass zero, which would trigger this one. So I don't, um, I don't know. I'm a little confused, but we will tackle that problem in a minute because I think 
I've come up with a circuit that's going to allow this system to differentiate between zero position and one position. So this should, basically it's just a T flip-flop here, right? At least I'm like 60% sure that's what this circuit's called. Like I said, I'm still learning. So currently it's in the zero position, but if I trigger this again, I think it should go into the one position because this top section's not going to fire. Yes. So now I'm working on trying to figure out how I'm going to get this segment here to kind of cycle from six back to zero. Right now I'm kind of working with the idea of maybe just making it cycle four times after six. The problem I'm running into first off is I can't think of a design for a system. Right now I'm, I'm working with some repeater clocks that will hopefully just kind of cycle through and I can see if I can try to get a system that will recognize when this has gone through four times. which. Right now, I have kind of running off of this, but in hindsight, I don't really think that's going to work. I'm also wondering if I can try to get in here and understand what cauldrons are in what positions, and if maybe I can move some stuff around in here so that this system only displays from one to six. But those are the two options I'm working with right now. So I've gone ahead and I've copied over the design into a separate area so I can mess around with it and try to see if I can understand how it works so that hopefully I can actually go ahead and just change this one in a way that it only goes up to six and then back to zero. My brain is so large. Uh <laughs> Check this out guys. I did it. I figured it out. It's functional. The timings still need a little bit of adjusting. I think I can still work on making it a little bit faster, but it's functional. So check this out. So we go for one, two, and then when it gets to six, it needs to cycle back to zero. So check this out. Six, seven, eight, nine, zero. How, how amazing, how amazing is this? I'm so proud of myself. This is so cool. We're getting very close to having a functional display for this clock. Now I've gone ahead and put all the redstone into place back here. I've added all the new circuitry, compacted it just a little bit so that it fits in nice and snug and actually comes in just in the right amount of space that I should be able to kind of copy this design over to here. I think it's going to have to do a very similar thing to what's happening over here, except it's going to have to do it the er, every other time it passes by the number two. So it's going to go zero to nine. And then as it passes by two, it'll put out one redstone signal. And then the second time it passes by two, it'll put down, it'll put out another redstone signal that should trigger a similar system to what's going on back here that will rotate this back to the number zero. But first thing we need to do is actually test this. So theoretically, if I hit the button in the back, it should all flip over to say 10, zero, zero, 10 o'clock on the dot. It did it. It did it, it did it, it did it, it did it, it cycled, it did it. 10 o'clock, that's, that's 10 o'clock, that's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Now, of course, the next trick is going to be this section over here. I think we're going to have to do a little bit more wiring for. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to mess around with that and see if I can maybe figure something out. And after really only a short amount of time, I, I, I think I actually have it. This seems, this seems to be functional. It's, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a repeater wonderland back here. So let me just show you guys what I have right here. So as you can see here, it's on the number one right now, right? Number two goes by just fine. Nothing happens. Three and so on and so on, right? Until it gets back around and hits two for the second time. Now the system triggers, it rotates itself back around and stops at one. Because, you know, this this thing is zero o'clock. We're not going to stop at zero. We need to go back to one. It's beautiful. It's big brain. I'm so proud of this. And condensed, it has become. It is now the next day, but I have slotted everything in. I have tested it. It is functional. I just had some of the spiciest chips I've ever had in my whole life. My mouth is on fire. But I'm too excited not to show you guys what I did. So, 
I put everything in, and hopefully, this has, this has this part hasn't been tested, but hopefully, once this gets to its cycle and it passes passes by zero while it's cycling, it'll trigger this to let it know that it's time to go to the next hour. I think we should give that a test. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've cycled everything around. It currently says 250 right now, and what should happen is as soon as this triggers over to six, then this should cycle to three. That's 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 the hope. Let's see what happens. Seven, eight, nine, zero should trigger that one. Haha! -ha! It functions. It works. A problem I have realized is that I think I actually synced this up to the wrong thing. I kind of need two to be shown. I, I didn't think about that. I kind of need two to be shown because, you know, 12 o'clock is a thing. And that was uh, that was an extremely easy fix, actually. Now comes trying to get this thing to function, this this one to zero system here. And I think this one should be sort of kind of simple-ish. And I think I've done it. I think it's it's pretty simple. Um, You know, just how to run the redstone line. So basically, when this hits zero, right? When this hits zero, the redstone line goes underground underneath this little redstone bit here. Comes up, hits this flip flop here. <clears throat> so every time it fires, it's gonna show one or zero. So every time this passes by zero, this will flip to the other one. So, in theory, if this were to go ahead and do its little um, cycling here, when it passes by zero, it should set that one back too. I messed this up a little bit. And this is it. It's functional. It's on. It's it's ticking. It's happening. It's going. Everything seems to be going fine. Everything's triggering properly. I'm not sure if my timing is correct 100%. I did some quick maths, but it's been a long time since I've done like that level of math, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I'm used to like, you know, getting change for people, you know, like that's, that's the kind of math I do with regularity. Oh yeah, I was over here doing quadratic formulas or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. So it, it, I really, I just set this up to a hopper clock and every Minecraft minute or close to hopefully this triggers. And then obviously when this gets to zero, that triggers. And then when this gets to zero, that'll trigger. And then when this gets to zero, that'll trigger. <laughs> Basically it's just, it's a clock. It's showing, it's showing the Minecraft time. Not accurately, because I started it kind of in the middle of the day. It's definitely not 1.22 in the morning. And and I'm excited about it. And I think to wrap up this video, I'm going to do a short little time lapse and just watch this thing run. And I decided after filming the time lapse, that I was actually going to go ahead and just make it its own kind of separate video. I thought it might make a really satisfying time lapse that I could put up as like a YouTube short. Might even put it up on Instagram or something. You guys will definitely see that time lapse very soon. And while I was filming the time lapse, I ran into a little bit of a problem. This this system here wasn't firing properly. I fixed it, but I wanted to show you guys right quick before the video ended how I fixed it. I had to do a little bit of a a double mono stable circuit i think is kind of what's going on here because it has to come through this block which triggers through this block because what was happening was the way i had it set up before is this mono stable circuit right here golly i hope that's what it's actually called because otherwise i'm going to sound like an absolute doofus but basically this piston was staying up which means as this system back here was trying to fire it wasn't going through properly it was a uh, a little bit more of a difficult fix than I think it had to be. I was making it more difficult than it had to be. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you leave that like for me down below as it does help out a whole heck of a lot. This was literally three days in the making. Three days spent on this redstone project. So hopefully you guys appreciate it. Subscribe if you guys are indeed new in here and share this video with your friends. I've been Gyronic. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.